Hello, this is Brian from MaxTech, and this is another Minute with MaxTech. Today I want to talk about the primary differences uh, in the MaxBlend 2 and the Max Venturi when trying to deliver high flow to your patient. The most obvious reason uh, is the fact that the Max Venturi only requires one gas source, an oxygen gas source, and then entrains the room air to get you a prescribed amount of blended gas. Whereas the Max Blend 2, either high flow or low flow, requires two gas sources. So if you're in an environment or a part of the hospital that only has one gas source, this is your, this is your choice. And it does perform very well. Now remember, there's a very specific um, definition in our IFUs talking about the interface or the type of cannula, the type of circuit. This is not intended for uh, neonates, and it's really only large pediatric, small adult, and adults. It's based on the cannula size, and here's why. Our Max Venturi utilizes the Venturi principle. That's not a gas law that we invented. It's a gas law that Mother Nature invented. And what we do is we, you pass a given gas past an angle, and it causes an entrainment. Okay? So if you start messing with the entrainment, you mess with the FiO2. I'm going to demonstrate that. And we'll also demonstrate the, uh, the muffler. So now I have the Max Venturi set at approximately 40 liters per minute at approximately 40%, okay? I have it going through a heater, bringing in room air right here. The difference between our muffler only at 40 liters, pretty noticeable. Notice we have a filter in between the muffler and the unit. You always want a filter in there because you are bringing in room air. You don't want any particulates off the floor inside the unit. So if I do anything with the, the, the outflow of gas, so this is going to get heated and humidified, and then this would be another circuit going to the patient, right? So if I create any resistance, there's an example of some resistance downstream. What I've done is I basically have turned off the Venturi. So now I'm going to give the patient 100% gas. Eventually it'll be 100%. You can see it rising rapidly. I remove that resistance now I'm able to entrain. The same theory is if I include the entrainment. If I include the entrainment, you can hear the difference in the noise. So now I'm only given 100% gas source. And you can see our analyzer rapidly rising. So think of some things that would cause resistance between the max venturi and the patient. Condensate, mobile condensate in your tubing a blanket covering the cannula, the cannula becoming dislodged. Using the wrong cannula, a very small bore cannula will cause all that resistance. Um, a kink getting caught in the bed rail, that will cause that fluctuation. Now, so why would I choose this over MaxBlend 2? I just give you a whole list of reasons why this, this has its own personality. Once again, I'll come back to it. If you only have one gas source in your room, this is your only choice if you want to deliver high flow. If you have dual gas sources, you can go to the Max Blend 2. This really doesn't care what's downstream. Resistance doesn't affect the Max Blend 2 at all, low flow or high flow. You'll, you'll notice in both of our uh, units here, everything you need is here, right? You have a flow meter, you have an analyzer, you have a pull mount bracket. Once again, you have a flow meter, analyzer, it's mounted. So when you need to set up high flow, both of these are going to be quicker than a standard. I need to get parts and pieces together. So be confident that when you have a Max Blend, Max Blend 2 or a Max Venturi, everything's ready when you need it. So let's talk about this muffler real briefly. One, one of these mufflers comes with every new unit. This is not a single patient use, but it does have a life expectancy because you never want moisture to enter this. Once again, it's that resistance thing. So if this gets wet, you throw it away and buy a new one. Um, and the part number is R211P38. You should note that our IFUs talk about the initial setup by making sure the main power switch is on. That turns the flow to the entire unit. And then you adjust the flow control knob to your prescribed flow. You can hear the Venturi. And then you would start to dial in the prescribed FiO2. It's a good time to turn on your oxygen analyzer. So let's say if we wanted 30%, 35, 40. One thing you want to make sure you check is because the two knobs are somewhat related, <clears throat> a change in FiO2 may require you to change the flow knob. Okay? 
because you only have one gas source. So as you change the O2 percentage, you could be changing the Venturi or total flow amount. And a reminder, um, we have in anywhere 10,000 of these running a day on patients. So these work very well on large pediatric patients to adults. There's just a prescribed uh, circuit and interface that you need to follow. But once again, a very powerful unit that does things other things can't do. And once again, the primary is the fact that it can run on just oxygen. For answers to other questions about MaxTech products, please visit us at maxtech.com. Thank you.